Hello, Duffy Stavin, where do you late meet Dean Archie the manager's bacon? Duffy ain't here. Oh, hello, Duffy. At uh, the crowd, uh, a lot of servicemen tonight. Yeah, the place is a regular separation center. <laughs> mm -hmm. Already, I've had to separate three guys. <laughs> uh, by the way, you know who came in tonight? Lefty O'Rourke. Yeah, he's out of uniform now. No, Duffy, not on points, on parole. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Lefty says he just couldn't get along with the warden, you know, and one of them had to go. <laughs> well, you know, the warden's in pretty solid. Well, I don't know. O'Rourke was very popular up there, Duffy. In fact, he claims they voted him the man most likely to return. <laughs> uh, say, by the way, speaking of getting out of jail, uh, Eddie, the waiter, is thinking of leaving us. What do you mean, so what? Eddie's a very valuable man. Huh? Well, I admit he ain't very fast on his feet, but he's got a great knack for serving hash without that guilty expression on his face. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I think he got an offer from uh, Grogan's Grill. Well, don't worry. I'll talk him out of it, Duffy. You know the old line, gratitude, the chance for advancement, all we've done for him, money ain't everything. Uh, yeah, the old sucker pitch. Well, certainly he'll bite. Don't I fall for it every time I ask for a raise? Well, just leave it to me, Duffy. I'll call you back. Eddie, there's a rumor around that you have had an offer from Grogan's Grill. Uh-huh. And the rumor also says that you're thinking of taking it. And keep your eye on that rumor. It's got a future. <laughs> well, Eddie, you're not serious. Where, where did you get this idea about leaving? I just looked into my wallet and there it was. <laughs> Again, this is madness. You can't leave here. Why, you're a part of Duffy's Tavern. Yeah, the part that goes over the cash register last. <laughs> Just a second now, Eddie. Is it that you feel that Duffy ain't done right by you? Well, now you know yourself that when it comes to blowing that horn of plenty, he ain't no Harry James. <laughs> Eddie, leave us discuss this. I think if you're fair-minded, I can show you that you're making a mistake. Now answer me. Uh, do you object to working seven days a week? Definitely. <laughs> and I suppose you object to putting in 15 hours a day? Very definitely. I, uh, suppose you also object to not being paid no salary. Extremely definite. <laughs> Eddie, I'm afraid you didn't enter this discussion with an open mind. <laughs> Don't you realize there's more important things than money? Yeah, but they all cost money. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Mr. Archie, now, I'd like to have a salary. I just can't get along on the tips I collect. Ah, now don't hear me that, Eddie. I've seen nights when you walked out of here with enough quarters to choke a horse. Or kill him with lead poisoning. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Arch, I just can't do it. In addition to the tips, I think I ought to have a dollar a week salary. How does 35 cents hit you? <laughs> it don't even muss my hair. <laughs> All right, then go ahead and quit. <laughs> but it's hard to think that you take this attitude toward the man has been your friend. Almost your brother. Through thick and thin. Laughter and tears. Mm -hmm. Be sure to listen to Stella Dallas at the same time. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Scoff at friendship. Uh, hard. Hello. Uh, hello, Eddie. Finnegan, <clears throat> Finnegan, what is your opinion of a man that bites the hand that feeds him? Well, some people will eat anything. <laughs> Why, what's your trouble? It's Eddie here. He wants to get paid more money. Money? Uh, Eddie, my boy, money is nothing. You know what I always say? What? But you're never so humble, there's no place like home. <laughs> what's that got to do with money? Well, we owe six months' rent. <laughs> Thanks, Finnegan. You're a big help. Now, look, Eddie. <clears throat> I think you're confused about this whole thing. What you need is a real nice vacation. Tell you what you do. Why? Take the rest of the day off. <laughs> that would only add to the confusion. I wouldn't know what to do with a day off. Well, what did you do on your last day off? Went up to Boston. They were having a tea party. <laughs> Eddie, 
I can see you're in the wrong mood. Uh, why don't you go out and breathe some nice, clean air, and maybe you'll change your mind, huh? That might help. Okay, see you later. Mm. Uh, look, Archie, I don't like to seem a ghoul, but uh, uh, have you got any ideas where I could get a job? A job for you? I don't know. Uh, have you tried Ripley? <laughs> What do you want with a job? Oh, I gotta get away from home, much. I just can't stand that fighting. Your mother and father again, huh? Yeah. What do they fight about? Oh, the simplest things. Take this morning. It all started about the new silver coffee pot. Coffee pot? Yeah, my mother hit me father over the head with it. <laughs> well, why did she have to use the silver coffee pot? Because it was her 50th wedding anniversary. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Do they fight all the time like that? Oh, yeah. Fight, fight, fight. Except once every week they quit for half an hour. How's that? They stop to listen to Mr. Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> well, ain't there nothing you can do to stop them? No, oh, I tried to. This morning I said, Mom and Papa, dude, why do you fight like this? Why, when you have so much to be thankful for? Then? They took a look at me and started swinging again. 